What is up, everybody? <laughs> Trying to find spots at every stadium where I can break, but it's not the easiest spots to find. Right now we got the Braves going live BP. We got the Panda. Pablo Sandoval hitting right now. Try to find good angles, but it's not the easiest. So we're having problem with tags. I'm not gonna be able to tag people till after the break just because I don't have anything on me. And I have the worst like stand ever. <laughs> So if you're in the break, I apologize. I'm not gonna be able to tag you till after um, just cause I literally have none of my stuff with me. So. It is what it is, I'm sorry, but we'll tag you after. So anyways, here's what we're here for. The lighting is actually gonna be very hard, I think. I'll have to just auto focus all the time. So here, 2020 Tribute Baseball while the Braves hit some BP. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Um, bear with me on the top loaders and all that. I have them with me, but I don't have every single thing I need. But for figure some of y'all don't really care as much. You're in it for more just the experience, so I love that. Um, they're all right here. I don't have the best room, so we'll see what happens. Looks like catch a foul ball while breaking. All right, here we go. Yeah, the tags aren't working. Kevin was trying, and unfortunately, it's an absolute shit show. So let me see if I can get uh, the lighting to uh, kick in. Goodness, this is, it's gonna be tough to see it, it seems like. Let me uh, rotate the camera. Here we go. So starting off, we have for the Cubs. Let me move these all over here. For the Cubs, Ernie Banks. Bear with me on the lighting. This is break number one. So Whit Merrifield going to the Royals. Let me grab my cases. It's definitely not a normal break, so I'm <laughs> really not sure how to uh, go about doing this one, but we're all learning here, right? So Whit Merrifield, 50 out of 99, going to the Royals. Help out with the lighting. Boom, boom, and Chris Bryant. It's like angle the cards towards the field so the lighting uh, helps out a little bit. Hopefully the, uh, the next break of these I do will be a, a little better on the lighting. It's just so hard to find a place in this stadiums that, you know, have a spot where I can do this stuff. I will I will give it to uh, the Braves. This is a beautiful stadium, so. Walker Buehler going to the Dodgers. Go off the back. Paul Goldschmidt going to the Cardinals on the back. Yeah, we have a, uh, I have more boxes I'm gonna be listing actually. We have, uh, I have three more stadiums we're going to this week. Oh, there we go. 90 out of 199, Trevor Bauer. This is actually the first Trevor Bauer auto I've ever pulled in my life. I'm a big Trevor Bauer fan. I know a lot of people aren't huge fans of him, but I love what he does. I am kind of working right now, right? I still have like four more hours until, no, two more hours until team stretch. So I figured now is a perfect time to knock it out. Oh. Perfect, got a break right here. Hank Aaron. Going to the, this is going to the Braves. Hank Aaron. How fitting that we're in Truist Park. And if you look right here in center field, Hank Aaron's number. 44 is painted in center field. Manny Machado, two out of 99. Going to the Padres. And our hit, Trey Mancini, 52 out of 99, going to the Orioles. I'm sorry I don't have the team list with me either. Um, I don't really have suitable stuff with me for all this stuff, but take it or leave it, right? 
<laughs> Got another thick one in here. Starting it off. Chris Davis. Yeah, the battery is sick. I love the battery. It's a great spot. Go off the back. There's two base on the back. Bryce Harper going to the Phillies. Is no, I thought um I thought uh Jose Abreu was leading, or is he leading? I thought Abreu was. 348 out of 450, Gavin Lux. I know a lot of people um heard me say I'm pretty high on Gavin Lux. Nice rookie right there. I am down to go to the battery tonight. Are you gonna meet me there, Kevin? I'm gonna watch the game from the stands today. Eight out of ninety-nine, Hank Aaron going to the Braves. Another how fitting, right? If only I could have him sign right now. Wouldn't that be ideal? Two more packs to go. Now, oh, Mancini is a gangster. You cannot hate a man that, you know, fought for his life and then he's coming back and doing amazing things. Juan Soto. There we go. From the GOAT. Be there for both tonight. All right, well, I'll see you tonight, Kevin. Nice. Reese Hoskins going to the Phillies. Six out of 25, Reese Hoskins. Perfect. Then I can give you these cards to ship out, right? The Hank Aaron. Sorry. Oh, yeah, the Hank Aaron is a Brewers card. Good catch right there. Hank Aaron is a Brewers. The other Hank Aaron was a Braves, Milwaukee Braves. Garrett Cole for the Astros. This lighting is tough. Oof. Last pack. And afterwards, I'll stay live and we can, you know, watch some BP, talk some more cards, whatever you guys want to do. But uh, this is the only box I have breaking for us today, at least. Reggie Jackson for the Yankees. Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. And our last hit. Going to the Blue Jays. Roberto Alomar, 108 out of 150. Th triple bat. For the Blue Jays. So I'll get my other top loaders real quick. But uh, yeah, that was box number one for the stadium of breaks. Who's hitting right now? I think someone's hitting now. Let's see. Rotate y'all to watch some BP. They did really well with this stadium. I don't know if anybody's ever been here before, but this stadium's beautiful. I think that's Pablo Sandoval's hitting again. Not sure. We are out there on the field in like two hours, so we got some time. But if anybody's swinging by to the game today, let me know. I'll be in the outfield shagging today. So if you're swinging by, let me know. Try to find me. Uh, I'm in Atlanta. We're in Atlanta. Truest Park. Honestly, I love pitching here in Atlanta. I think this is one of the best stadiums there is. Um, I love it here. Ah, oh, thank you, man. That's why I'm here for, you know, have some fun. Connect everybody back to the field. You know, like Trevor Bauer does his uh, on-field stuff, you know. I try to do this stuff. Connect everybody to the game. I think it's an awesome thing I can try to do to, you know, bring some love back to the community, to the hobby, uh, to the fans, to the players. I mean, I know a lot of players collect. I don't know them all, but who is the one Barry you haven't faced yet that you really want to? Well, yeah, Jason, the, the crowds here in Atlanta are full for sure. The one batter I want to face, ooh, I've always wanted to face like Robbie Cano. I was a big Yankee fan growing up. What's up, Mills? But, uh, big Yankee fan growing up, so I always wanted to face Cano. Um, 
Derek Jeter, I wish. That would have been sick if I faced Jeter. Oh, Bobby, we got plenty more to do right now. Uh, Daniel, I don't actually have any personals with me. I could bring some personals to the field going forward, maybe. I just don't. For me, it's just so hard to carry all these boxes with me on the road and stuff and not get them damaged. Um, thankfully, I went to Kevin's house last night, so I was able to grab this tribute. But I also grabbed some more uh, boxes and stuff. So I'll definitely have some more personals. I have my 2019 museum. I have more more uh, tribute. I have some tops, chrome, hobby, all that stuff I can start listing. We're going to uh, Philly um, Friday, and then we're going to Tampa Bay next week. So I have all those stadiums to break in next, at least. So, Just with the shipping, y'all are just going to have to bear with me. It's probably going to take me an extra week on top of it, just because, obviously, being here... It's so hard for me to uh, to ship anything while I'm on the road. So we have a 10 game road trip right now. If the pitch got away from you, who? <laughs> yeah, that Gavin Lux was numbered. If a pitch got away from me, um, it's just because I'm trying to strike someone out. That's probably why. The Gavin Lux was lum uh, numbered to uh, 450. Let me, I'll, I'll pull it back out for you. I'll go through them again really quick. Try to give you all some more. But, I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And uh, hopefully this is something I can try to keep doing all the time. You know, I'm I'm excited for it. So we got... Oh, yeah, the lighting again. Hold on. Let me move you all back over here. So we got fans in the stands now. Some fans walking down over here. Derek Jeter for sure or Ty Cobb a lot of people don't know but my aunt is Ty Cobb's granddaughter so Ty Cobb would probably be my number one um, he's not blood to me he's you know family through marriage but still for sure um, Manny Machado to 99 got the uh, Trey Mancini to 99 Hank Aaron to 99 this is for the Brewers um Roberto Alomar to 150, Reese Hoskins to 25, Gavin Lux to 450, Trevor Bauer to 199, and Whit Merrifield to 99. Yeah, awesome family fact. A lot of people don't know, but I also, it's tough because he's not blood, but you know, it's a cool little fact, a little neat fact. Who calls the best? I don't know who calls the best pitches because I've only pitched to two, three guys up here. But I would honestly would love to uh, pitch to like Yadier Molina or like Pudge one day. Well, obviously Pudge no more, but. Hell yeah, Mills. A lot of people, JJ Breaks, he used to be my teammate. So give him some love if you guys haven't yet. But, um. Rowdy. <laughs> Get all rowdy. Now, I would love to pitch to, like, Pudge. Oh, Pudge or just Yadier. Two of the greatest, you know, there is. Um, defensively and offensively, all that good stuff. All right, Riley, we can do a break. Try to get some, uh, assuming I'm down there. I'd love to. We'd probably do one. Uh, I don't know. Well, you can go to the field anytime early, but that'd be sick. Michael Barrett. Yeah, Barrett would be fun. Man, when's someone else going to hit? I'm tired of watching Panda hit. I'm not sure who that is, though, right there. Panda, obviously, but I'm not sure who that is. Kevin will probably know. Kevin's a monster yeah, Braves fan. What's up, Michael? Oh. No Acuna, no, none of them are out yet. Right now we're just stuck with these two boys. A little early work. I wish I could, I wish I was cool enough like Trevor. 
where I could uh, bring my phone out and film batting practice from center field. Wouldn't that be fun? Put you guys, like, strap you on my chest. Uh, Mills, I don't have any... I have more attribute, but they're not with me. They're at Kevin's house right now. Are you trying to do a break, Mills, or hop a personal? Oh, I would love to pitch to Ken Griffey Jr. That's another one right there, too, man. Ken Griffey, Pujols in his prime. You know, the all-time greats, Ichiro. I mean, I would love to pitch against them. I would not like it because they'd probably own me, but it would still be cool to say, I, you know, if I were to get them out, that I did get them out, you know? We can figure something out, Mills. I don't have it on me. I only had that one box on me. Everything else is at my hotel, so we could try tomorrow. Figure something out. Tony Gwynn for sure. I'd just be a part of their stats, you know? <laughs> Who's this hitting? Camargo? Maybe Johan Camargo hitting now? Toughest batter I've ever faced was Corey Seager in double A. Corey Seager was unreal in double A. I mean, he still is unreal. I haven't faced him since, but in double A, that dude just. It didn't matter what you threw him. He was ready for it. No, I don't take VP anymore. I'm not a starter anymore, so I kind of lost that privilege, sadly. But I did hit. I could hit. Oh, Johan. I don't know then who that is. I'm not sure who's a lefty for them aside from, like, Camargo. That looks like him. And that's not... Almonte. Biggest K I had this year in player wise. Ugh. I struck Yelich out the other day actually, so I would go with Yelich this year. And career wise, I don't know. You don't know you know I don't like talking about this shit, Mills. <laughs> this is the most I've ever talked about any of this. Uh career wise Freddie Freeman. Yeah, Freddie Freeman. He's in my book. He's 0 for 2 with the punchy against me. Got Acuna in the book, but he's also got me in his book. <laughs> but, damn. They take a lot of BP. Shit. Must be early work. Who's in town though? Anybody in uh, in Atlanta? Gonna be going to the battery later with Kevin. So if you're around, let us know. We'll meet you up at the battery. Yeah, Yelly's struggling this year though. <laughs> Fun fact. Big wow. Uh, Ryan, I'm not sure. I don't think we do come back this year, but I might be wrong. Yeah, fun fact. Do I have more big league hits or wins? <laughs> Pete Rose is my homeboy. I mean, that was funny when he had me sign that. Yeah, I'm going to save the video after. It's probably going to take 30 minutes just to save the video. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to go live on the the world champion page under the group, but it wouldn't let me. Like Kevin wasn't allowed to see it until after. So I'm not sure. We'll have to figure that out for the future so we can share it and you know help grow this more. But definitely gonna post it on some YouTube. So if you guys have some YouTube uh, channels, you know, be sure to give us some love. World champion breaks, Instagram, all that good stuff. Yeah, just let me know when you're there. Um, I'm not a hard guy to get in contact with as long as you let me know. <laughs> it's usually when people ask me like last minute when I'm like getting ready. I'm like, shit, I can't now. Sorry. But if you let me know early enough in the day or something like that, I can, you know, try to swing by and see you at the dugout or something. Just 
make an appearance, get a picture with y'all, and, you know, share some love back with you guys. My biggest card? Uh, honestly, I don't really have any monsters anymore. Um, I, you know, I had Tom Brady rookie cards and all that. I sold my rookies for the Tom Brady's just because I thought Tom Brady was going to lose their Super Bowl. And I kept all my Mahomes rookies, and uh, that flip-flopped real quick. So I would do that, or I would say, like, I obviously uh, I have LeBron, PSA rookies, stuff like that. But uh, a lot of my big stuff I don't have as much anymore. I have a lot of stuff at grading, unfortunately, waiting on those. So we'll see uh, when PSA decides to uh, return those to me. Wow, uh, Pablo Sandoval just hit a monster. I still, I have no clue who this dude is. Right there, I have no idea. I'm just... He looks extremely young. And he's only swung lefty. And the only people I know that are on their team that are young... That are new are like Contreras. I don't know anybody else that's... A lefty for them. That's why I thought it was Camargo. Ooh. Got rid of Trout and kept the Harper, yeah. That didn't age well, huh? <laughs> now you can't even get him. Oh, Trout's relatively without paying an arm and leg, that's for sure, but... Oh, here we got Jan Gomes is out here for us right here. There's Jan Gomes. Right there on the left. Who else we got? I don't see anybody else except for all their pitchers. Surprised like Max hasn't come out and started running or something like that. Usually Max is out here being an animal and doing some crazy stuff. Showing us why he is the GOAT. It's definitely not Almonte. That dude's too small to be Almonte. But maybe Heredia. That that sounds like it could be Heredia. Yeah, it's definitely not Abraham. But now this is a beautiful place. I don't know if you guys have see try to give you all a little different scenery of it real quick though, but at night this place gets wild up here they have the crazy lights that they shut these off and then right here under the roof it's black i mean uh red and blue sorry and then all the lights go off when you come into the stadium and then all the fans have their cell phone lights on and they do their little chop so definitely uh, i would say this is probably my favorite stadium if not one of and then you got these hotels right here, the Omni Hotel, which I heard is an absolute gorgeous hotel. But the rooms are so expensive because right here you got the balconies, which are uh, obviously you can see the field from. So pretty expensive, I'm sure. But no, it's definitely a beautiful, beautiful park. It looks like they're done with BP, I think. No, they do. I think they do the light, the bombs with the lights as well. Uh, if someone hits a bomb, they flicker the lights. But it's, like I said, though, when you run in as a visitor, they do those. Um, they do the uh, the tomahawk with the lights for the visiting, and it's like so weird because like it amps me up. Like you're doing me a favor by doing that. So you know, it gets me a, my adrenaline pump, and so I love it. Maybe I'll have a, a Kenya sign one. Do a little giveaway with it or something. We'll see. I don't think I've ever spoken to another player on a different team. But we'll see. But all right, I'll, any more questions real quick before I hop off? I gotta go in and you know get ready for some stretching and all that good stuff. Yeah, break through 355. Uh, Kevin can run a break tonight if you guys are interested um, before the Braves game. So if anybody's interested, there's five teams left in the uh, the baseball break. 
um, that Kevin's got going. Do I prefer a heckle or a cheer? Um, a heckle, it gets me laughing, but it's funny because usually the people that are heckling are really bad at it. And then, you, like, it's just, it's not fair because I can't heckle you back. If I could heckle you back, you would probably cry half the time because, like, everybody that heckles is just so bad or they just have no business heckling. But eh, it doesn't bother me. It's funny. Half the time we're just laughing at how ignorant and dumb hecklers are so you know yeah i don't know if anybody wants my jersey plus we only get one jersey actually of every colorway so we can't really give our jerseys away unfortunately i have to like go buy them but uh like i said everybody double check if you're interested in another baseball break that can break it uh, I think pretty soon. I think Kevin could break it any minute. Uh, check that on out. We got some other football breaks up, another baseball random team. I know a lot of people don't seem to be in on the random teams, but uh, you know, we'll see if we can uh, try to fill those up real quick. But, um, yeah. I don't play for the enemy, man. I'm on the good team. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to hop off. Take care. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any recommendations on how I can help make this better, make it more fun, let me know. Obviously, I'm not a pro at this. This is my first stadium break. <laughs> I don't know, Mills. You want to make our own? Mills, we need to make our own cards. That's what we need to do. We need to make our own little uh, repacks. That's what would be sick. But... If you guys have any recommendations though let me know shoot me a message comment on here would love to hear your recommendations on how we can help make this more fun more enjoyable maybe get more people involved somehow i know it's tough you know obviously i can't you know break a billion boxes up here but i can try to make them a little bigger maybe if you guys are interested in certain product or something let me know um always down if you guys want to do other sports even i'm down to do other sports uh, I think baseball would be pretty cool because maybe, you know, if we pull certain cards, I'll be able to get them signed while we're here. Um, maybe I can try to get them, you know, get a photo of, you know, that person signing those cards for you guys or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. You know, get interactions with uh, with players, um, you know, for you guys. Maybe I can get them to get someone to do a guest appearance on here with me or some shit, you know? try it out see what happens um throwing ideas around and you know see what sticks so oh we got some more people walking in i don't know that i was gonna say uh, it looks like trey turner walking in center field right there but i think trey's already here seventh inning stretch wouldn't that be ideal too bad we're not allowed to have any cell phones once the game starts you get like in trouble for it Pain in the ass. Yeah, we'll try to we'll try to see if I can get some guys in. Uh, it's a little weird asking, "Hey, man, you want to come open some cards with me?" For guys that have never opened cards, so we'll see what happens. But, dude, oh my god, this spread hit in Atlanta is amazing. Oh, that's Fetty right there. There you go, Mills. Fetty for your boy. Fetty walking in right there he's in his own world he's heading to Harrisburg for his rehab start I think so Fetty making his appearance at the field finally Fetty and Jan Gomes alright guys Dude, we both need his fantasy players. I know. TD's been making some good trades in the fantasy league, man. He's looking good. He's looking good. So I'll give it to TD. After last year, I thought he was going to be terrible. <laughs> but all right, guys. I'm going to hop on off. I appreciate you guys stopping by.